Frost. What's up with you, man? Wicked. <laughs> boxed in. Now nah, it's boxed in. You <laughs> dig what I'm saying? Wicked, a.k.a. Boxed in. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, man. You yeah, know. what's problem? Nigga done created a whole nother brand, man. Sure, a whole nother. You did a great job, bro. You deserve <laughs> it. You deserve it. Man, thank you for coming, man. Since 100%. you've been a big part of this Memphis stuff, man, mm -hmm. it's only right for us to talk about some Memphis shit. I swear to God. So you got Finesse Two Times, which is one of the hottest rappers right now. Mm -hmm. um, he got a new artist named Lil' King, which right. is like nine or 10. I'm familiar with him, that's my little homie too. Um, you got Charleston White just called with CPS on him. I saw that, I saw that. How you think that's gonna play out? Ooh, I don't really think it's probably gonna go a long, long way as far as CPS, me personally, mm -hmm. um, because now you, you know, of course, I mean, who knows, but uh, I don't think it's gonna go no long, long way. Uh, and if, you know, finesse, if I'm finesse, I'm going to try to ignore this nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because even though he he deserves, he, he, done, he done ruffled a lot of feathers, He's a he is a, and a lot of shit he say be real. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not mm -hmm. saying that he's off, off. I'm not saying he. I think he mixed a lot of bullshit with the truth. Because he's still out for himself. He's still, exactly. A lot of cap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of shit. Because if it was really about the kid, why you got to? Why you gotta post yourself calling you the people? Exactly. If it was just about the kid, if you were so concerned with the kid, why you gotta post yourself mm -hmm. giving the call? And then the lady says she wanna make it anonymous. Oh, oh no, I don't wanna because that's natural. Most people wanna be anonymous. Mm -hmm. You don't wanna be anonymous. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So for me, while he might have a point, I don't know that kid's backstory. You know what I mean? And he is being exposed to a lot, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, and you gotta be careful about that. But but at the end of the day, uh, man, Charles and White need to mind his business sometime too. A lot of times, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> he need to mind his business, and he he kind of he 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 puts me in the mind of the academics. Like you like a shock jock, like motherfucker. You want to shock everybody. You want to get the headlines, and you want to you know mm -hmm. what I mean because it keeps building your brand. Yeah. But at some point, somebody gonna. Somebody gonna catch up with you, I feel like. You know what I mean? Well, let me say this, like, uh, no disrespect to the rest of the world. Right. But uh, Memphis operate a little different. Uh, way different. So, no disrespect to people who haven't seen him in public. Mm -hmm. When a Memphis person sees him in public. Mm -hmm. <sighs> right, it, it, something, something could happen. You know what I'm saying? Something could happen. <laughs> but that's why, that's why I say, I, I, you know, I don't know Finesse personally. Uh, and uh, I love his music. I, and, and from his story, I know you, you know, you've been a part of his journey. Just seeing where, where he's where he's going, he going up with his situation. Man, sometimes you can't crash on nobody. You can't crash. Don't you don't need to be the person because somebody gonna knock dude block off. Yeah, it's 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 basically not safe to even talking back to him. You know what I'm right. saying? Like for real. Like, what are you gonna do with somebody like that? You can't even make you, him mad. Who who telling you? I'm going to call the police. I'm da da da. It's, you can't win with him. It's hard to win with him. You got to let somebody else who got less going crash. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about it. Now, yeah, it's that side of me that say, you know, me being a, a, a Memphis dude and everything, Memphis, Memphis, Memphis with me, you know, part of it is like, man, get on this nigga head, bro. <laughs> right now. Yeah, you know how he is. Yeah. And like you said, how Memphis. But the other thing is, he just looking for, man, sometimes you can't give a person everything they looking for, man. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really think, how you going to call CPS on, who, what, what dude, mama, like, I don't know, where, where his parents at? Mm -hmm. The look the look guy, where his parents Well, at? they just seen, uh, well, before, when I met him, his, they, they told me his, his mom, both his parents was in jail. Oh, so, okay. So who's I, his guardian? Uh, when I did the live performance with him, I think it was like his uncle or something like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, but he's, d d d be honest with you with finesse. If anything of the, if I see anything, I think finesse had good intentions. Right. So, I mean, he and he doing homeschool. He paying five thousand dollars for it. Right, like shit. All us learning. 
But to go that hard, you know what I'm saying, on put it on the internet. Mm -hmm. Anytime you put something on the internet, bro. You're looking for attention. Yeah. You're looking for attention. And so that's what I'm saying. You know, and you know, so again, finesse stepping up as a as a person of influence in this in this kid life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Obviously the kid is already He's already there. Out there. So it ain't you, you can't I didn't introduce him to this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't introduce him to this. Yeah. Uh and, and all kids aren't gonna we all know all kids ain't raised the same way. If both of your parents in jail already, you already fighting up here battle. But it's like if you got some people who, who at least are gonna try to walk you through the right doors, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You can't be mad at that. You know, as far as Charles and White, my whole thing is like I say, bro looking for attention everywhere he can get it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, for sure. that's his whole thing. He just looking to get the, you know what I mean? He he getting exact. Look what's happening. We talking about him. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so it, it's working. There you go, right there. It's working. There you go. I done said his name ten times. Uh huh. You nah, know what I'm for real. So, <laughs> so his plan be working. He ain't no dumb. He's not dumb. No. You know what I mean? No, no. I just think he play with fire a whole lot. You know what I mean? And uh -huh. I, you 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 put a post up the other day. You said some to the effect, and I hate to misquote you, but you said some to the of, to the effect of don't let this post get you put to rest or something like that. Oh, I said don't let trying to uh, extra views and likes get you hurt. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hello, everybody out there. I'm telling you, I am not doing it. I'm terrified. I'm not gonna take that route. I take the long way around. Right. I'm not doing nothing for no extra views or like. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. I could be talking about a lot of beef, and I don't want to do that. Right. Right. I respect the people. I respect my city. I respect the artists. I'm not doing it. Right. You're not gonna put, uh, uh, you know, fuel on the fire already. You're not nah, gonna add nothing to nah. it. I'm gonna try to de-escalate more right. than anything. Or get a good. I'm a, most important. I'm gonna get an understanding. Right. You know, <laughs> you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, man. So yeah. So I feel. Yeah, I feel like about bro, bro. He. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro, bro. Just looking for attention. And finesse got so much good stuff going on right now. He got so much good stuff going on right now. He need to just keep what he do, keep doing what he doing, and mm -hmm. try to be a positive influence however he can on this kid life. You know, you can't talk square shit to a kid who ain't square. You understand me? Like you, you just can't. You know, like when you go into the prison system, the best people who make the the the, the biggest impact when you go in is somebody who they look at can understand them. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody gonna listen to somebody that a kid, not or nobody, a grown man. Nah, for you real. go into prison, you talk to dudes. If if you ain't been down their road, they not even respecting none you talking. No, about. because your journey was different than mine, so you mm -hmm. can't be telling me how to. If you ain't been sitting where I'm sitting at. But when you've been sitting there where I'm sitting at, mm -hmm. and I can see that you evolved, and I can see that you you turned, you know what I'm saying, uh, you, you made some shape. Mm -hmm. I can I can, I can can respect that. Now I'm listening. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, Especially if I see a success story. A the success story. On the, on the end on of the, you've been doing what you did. You was out there like me, right. and I see you like how you is right now. Right. Oh, hell yeah. I got to listen. I got to listen. How did you do that? Yeah, for real. Give me the play. For if you real. got some sense. Yeah, if you got some sense. Like, a lot of dudes ain't got no sense. Like, you ain't got to reinvent the wheel. You really ain't got to reinvent the wheel. Like, okay, if somebody's giving you the blueprint and the game plan, then a lot of times you got to, of course, you're going to put your own twist to it at some point. But so so going back to what dudes say, man, like, that child, that kid, because that's what he is, he's going to listen to somebody like that. That person. Finesse is more likely to get a positive reaction and, and outcome out of that child than somebody from CPS coming. Now we finna take the kid and put him in foster care and we finna, okay, because whoever your guardian is is allowing it. Like that shit, it's not gonna end well. It probably can ruin them more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like people not looking at it like this, especially, mm -hmm. especially if you coming from these Memphis streets. You come from if you've these Memphis never streets. been in down here. Hey man, it's gutter. This is real. It's gutter. And guess what? And to be real, one thing is real. He's a product of his environment, of these Memphis streets. Hundred percent. We Finesse said, "Man, King is. If you want to know how Memphis is, look, <laughs> Holly King. Right. Man, come on, man. Yeah, Nine that's years real. old. This is what's going on every right. day, man. That's real. For and real. It, right. So you can't." <clears throat> 
Like I said, man, you can't. Deprogramming him going to take a while. It's, it's not going to happen even. <laughs> right. It ain't even going to happen. Uh-huh. He's already indoctrinated to what this street life is, what this fast life is, shooting dice, rapping, talking to me and all worth of shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All that is, you know what I mean? So so my thing is, uh, you know, hey, man, it's not a no-brainer for anybody. Everybody got to live this life every day and make and, and consistently make good decisions or straighten it up when we make bad decisions. And so that child, you know, he already, like I said, got an uphill battle uh, because of his his parents' situation. But it's a blessing that he got, you know what I mean, somebody in his life, you know what I mean, to, to pour into him and, and, and to speak to uh, how he already, you know, to speak to things in a way that he understands it. You know what no, I mean? for sure. Yep. Let me ask you, since you're a pioneer of this music shit, mm-hmm. um, these females. Right. Like, man, like, what you had, Boo, Chat. Right. That's two. But we have like five women, maybe more, that's on fire right now from the city. Right. How, how, how like, what you feel about that? I this? love it. I mean, I'm, I'm like, first of all, like, and I know, like, most people are, um, I'm so, so proud of, uh, everything that uh <clears throat> that's coming out of the city and i'm so glad that we finally getting our our turn yeah. you know because we always been creators don't get it don't get it a lot of people forget you know what i'm saying when you don't know your history when you don't know your history you gotta understand that we've been creators of a lot of a lot of music here you know what i'm saying and it's dating, dating back to other other genres of music mm-hmm. you know what i mean so we we always been creators and, and truthfully the world follows a lot of what we do we just haven't always got the credit for it yeah you know what i mean and a lot of that been self-inflicted because of how we treated each other and how we dealt with each other and a lot of things we didn't know about business but as far as this, i'm proud of all them girls man um and it makes sense because because man memphis we got some hell of a women anyway that come out this city. Hey, man. Well, I'm saying just in general. They don't even, like, <laughs> Memphis got some hard-ass women, bro. Well, yes, we do, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like They, they game tight. They they hard. They they got plenty game. They going to uh-huh. talk shit, and they hard. Uh-huh. They'll knock a nigga ass off and the whole thing, bro. Like, nah, quicker than, you know what I mean? And I've said this, and, and I hope I don't, you know, nobody don't get offended. But I said, you know, Memphis, it's a gangster city. So I said, Memphis got some, we got some gangsters out this city, bro. But I said, man, these chicks might be as far as went. These, these bro may be harder than. Them I'm bro. telling you, I'm for real, bro. Because you know why? Because we they learning off us. You know what I'm saying? They like, learning. They got to deal us. with us. Yeah, they got to deal with us every day. Every day. You know, they our balance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They still follow, like in the order of God, bro. They still mostly follow, but just how it is to deal with the the type of guys that come up out the city, out of Memphis. Man, a woman got a hut. She got to be tight. She can't be going. And so all of that has built the type of girls that now when you just put that shit on music. Oh, man, my God. That's all it is. Uh-huh. Because though they're musically talented, you can find a whole lot of them that had that same attitude, that same flair. They everywhere here. Mm-hmm. It's just that they just been focused and, and got their shit together. Yeah. And, you know, like I said, not taking nothing from them, period. But they are they are the microcosm, use a big word. Yep. They the microcosm of what the women is in Memphis. Like, that's how yeah. women talk in Memphis. That's yeah. how they act. Yep. All that. Yep. They just showing the world. They just showing the world. Yeah, they just showing the world, bro. And it been going on like that. Yeah, know? they hard, too. Um, yeah, they hard. All of them hard. So yep. You got Glorilla, K Carbon, Gloss, mm-hmm. Aliza, Slam Maroni. Carb, did you say Carb? Oh, you said Carbon already, yeah. K Carbon, man. Yeah, I like her, man. And then I see a lot of other females. Yes. Like bubbling, you know what I'm saying? When I look at a lot of the. Oh, they come. Yeah. <laughs> they come. Well, bro. it makes sense, though. It makes sense, Wicked, because. Okay, you know, uh, music business has always been a lot about analytics. It's more now even probably than in numbers. Uh, and radio, for instance, back in the day, radio is not as important as it is now as it yeah. used to be mm-hmm. uh, because of all obviously all the internet shit. <laughs> but, but, you know, women, radio has always been about what women 
what do the women think about it? Mm-hmm. So research. So you know K ninety seven one oh seven when when they play a song, they do they do research. They do their research is mainly trying to figure out how do the women feel about this song? Mm-hmm. Women are the main consumers of the music, yeah. to be honest. They the biggest they the most loyal fans. Yeah, they the more, most loyal fans. They're going to spend the most money. They're going to buy the most shows. A lot of time, a dude, he just a jump on, okay. You oh, y'all like, like that? Y'all like that, okay. <laughs> I'm going to do I'm 42. I, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times, the women are the, women are the, uh, the testing point for a lot of music. So the fact that all, and you know, obviously I'm concerned about Memphis, but just if you look at across the board, man, like in the whole industry, period, like it's just a lot of women winning right now. Mm-hmm. A lot of women. Oh, a lot of women. It's yeah. the time for them. It's their time. If you're a woman and you ever wanted to rap, I tell them that all the yeah. time. Every time I meet a woman, they like, yeah, I, I do music here and there. Yeah. Like, nah, you already nah, bullshit. You better get serious. Tell me right. about here and there. Oh, right. nah, you po- oh, nah, I do music. You right. got to stick your chest out with this right. shit. You know what I'm saying? For real. Especially if you live in the city. If you live in Memphis, man, because we so on fire. Bro, the labels call me every week, bro. We so on fire. They want to hear that accent. Yep. They want to hear them yep. brutals. <laughs> that music, music, music. music. Yeah, hear my music. Let me hear. You hear me? They want to hear all that shit. I think we got the best slang too. Yeah, a hundred percent. You know 100%. what I'm saying? Plucking and these folks be saying all type of some junk. Yeah. You know, let me get that junk. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's unmistakable. You know, it's just man, we got a, a nice. You know me, I live in Atlanta, and even even my kids are different people, man. When you talk, you know, my kids are like, you know, they're like, Dad, let's no. That Memphis talk, you know what I'm saying? Nah, like, though they, they born and raised in Atlanta. And Atlanta got their exactly. own thing, too. But it's like, you know, our accents and, and stuff like it's that. It's deep. Deep as hell. It's deep. You know. 